Hello, everybody! Madam Euphrosty be here, goddess of joy, helping you to lighten up from the inside out, and it's time to get your yoga on! Now, I think it just started. Hold on, I'm going live on Reddit as well. Hello, everybody! This is Madam Euphrostini here, goddess of joy, getting your yoga on. Now, I have Facebook Live and I have Reddit Live. It is so exciting. I just don't know where to look. Now, you see, I have dogs in background, which always makes yoga quite interesting. I got Chewy and I got Gracie, and they seem to want to play. They just get so excited when it's yoga time. Now, as I said, we're going to be getting our yoga on and we are doing a core workout. Now, I was just on Reddit watching Bookie do his core workout. Oh my goodness, he is putting me to shame. Now, if you're not advanced and you still want good core workout, you come do it with me. All you need is mat or something nice and comfortable, even carpet you can do it on. I just really don't know where to look. I look here and then I look in Facebook and I get cut off here. But that's okay. I'm sure you people understand. Whoever's joining me, hello. It's so good to see you. Madam Euphrostini here, goddess of joy, getting your yoga on. Now, I just, yesterday, my Aunt Flo came to visit. You know, you know what I mean when I say Aunt Flo. I've gone into the red tent. I am riding the cotton rocket. Right? You know what? It's so good with the things that we have these days. We can use tampons, we can use uh, diva cups. Any women out there who are watching this, let me know what you use. Right now, I'm riding the cotton rocket, but I'm just so grateful that I can still ride a white horse if I wanted to. Now, I don't have a white horse. Oh, don't knock my stuff down. If I had a white horse, I could do it very confidently. But uh, you know what? I was thinking about that, that if you should leak when you are on a white horse, it would leave like a, a pinkish, reddish bullseye. That might be fun for the seagulls out there. It could be like the bullseye for them when they're shooting their poop down. You know, they could aim for the red circle, which might be fun. I wouldn't want to take away from their fun. But yet I still would much prefer to wear Diva Cup or or uh, the cotton rocket. But you know what? I don't do Diva Cup anymore. I had incident. I'm getting to yoga very soon. I'm just yammering on. But I want to tell you about this incident before. So if you don't know what the Diva Cup is, where should I go? Here, if I go here, I can be in both cameras. That's so much better. Okay, so when I used to use Diva Cup, I was out at, you know, I was at a Starbucks. I had to go with wash. Now, sometimes, you know, you need to dump it. If you don't know what the Diva Cup is, it's like a little rubber type of shot glass, but it's all squishy. And to get it in, you need to squeeze and turn it like it is a light bulb. That's what you need to do. And then the same thing to get it out. Sorry for the sound effects that might have turned you off. But anyways, what is one time when I was at Starbucks? I was in bathroom, I took it out, and then what it did was it fell in the toilet. This is expensive, $40, I was not going to leave it in the toilet, right? Right, hey, it's the lady, yes, cheeseburger, I'm here. What year is this? If you don't know, it's 2020. And Diva Cups, they came, I don't know what year they came. They must have been around for at least 10 years now. But anyway, so I was not going to leave my Diva Cup in the toilet. Yoga is coming, by the way, very soon. So I did. I fished it out. So gross. Obviously, I'm not going to put it back in. It needs sanitization. So I wrapped it. I put it under sink and then I wrapped it in toilet paper, shoved it in my purse, but I still needed something. So I took rolls and rolls and rolls of toilet paper, stuffed it in my underwear. It was like I was wearing diaper. I walked out the bathroom like I was John Wayne just come off a horse. It was just terrible. Yes, Diva Cup. So instead now I go back to Cotton Rocket. So, so anyways, I feel a little bloated today because I just got it. But 
Well, that's okay. We are still going to do a core workout. Oh, here's Chewy. He, he has his pet mouse with him. Not real, but he likes... Okay, so are we ready? Are you going to join me for this core workout? Here, all you need is just go to the mat. Now, I'm going to take glasses off because glasses with yoga, not a very good combination. Okay, so let me just move back. Hopefully everyone can still see me. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we are going to start in child's pose just to get into the mode of what we're going to do and to uh, set our intention, okay? Set our intention. Okay, so put your knees at the edges of the mat. Your toes to touch. Shoo, uh, chewy, are you, you going to come down with me? Are you going to come down do some downward dog? Yes, okay. Now you need to move out of the way. Come. Yes, come. They're all voting for, uh, voting for him. If you want him to do certain pose, just let me know. Okay, mister. You need to sit down so I can do my thing. I know. I love you too. Okay, sit. Sit. Oh, so good, so good. Okay, down. Down. You show them how smart you are. Okay. So, knees at the edge of the mat. I know. I'm not going to keep rubbing you. Okay. Then come down to child's pose, everyone. Nose, or not your nose, your forehead against the mat. Okay? Stretch those fingers out nice and long. And I want you to breathe. Send some breath to your shoulders. Now, those of you watching on Reddit, I don't know if you can still hear me because my mic is attached to Facebook. So if you can't hear me very well, I'm so sorry. And if I talk too loud, I'm going to blow the Facebook people away. Eventually, I will get splitters to make this better, okay? Tell me if you can hear me on Reddit because then I'll know what's going on. Thank you, I see messages coming up. Wait, hold on, let me take a peek. Let me see what's going down. Facebook will steal your soul. Russian yoga, yes. Am I this? Uh, you are so high as a kite. This is not even real. Okay, this is great. Do a backflip. Downward dog. Yes, make it to algebra. I'll talk to Chewy about algebra. I don't do backflips, by the way. Okay. Oh, did anyone say anything about sound? Sorry about cleavage there. Okay, you are good on the... Oh, thank you so much. Damn, you're hot. Oh, thank you. That you made my day. You totally made my day. Okay, let's go back down to trial. Of course, here comes Joy. You're in my way again. Okay, come over here. Okay, child's pose, forehead down. Set your intention for the day. Okay, and for this practice, what you want to get. I know I want, what I want to get out of this. Abs like Bookie on Reddit. I want to get abs like Bookie. That titanium abs, that's what I'm going for. Bookie is on too now. By the way, you can flip back and forth and enjoy a good workout. Okay, so from here, let's come up to cat, cat, cat. Okay, so tabletop, make sure your wrists are stacked above your shoulders, okay? And make sure you follow me. I will send you all my social media links and you can follow me. I do lots of different things, okay? Take a deep breath in and, and breathe in and the belly goes down. And then opposite, cat pose as you breathe out. Belly button to spine. We are getting to the core, just quick little stretches. And again. Okay, neutral spine as you really breathe in. I was gonna say spine. I don't know anything about splines. And I could look it up and tell you next time, but I really know nothing about splines. Okay, so touch your toes in, downward dog, people. Let's go, downward dog. Stick your tushy to the sky. Okay, pedal out your feet, walk the dog. Okay, walk the dog. Let your head and neck hang like your grandfather's balls. What I mean by that, you probably know, but what I mean by that 
is your grandfather. He probably played with a long pole and a tether with a ball on it. And he would let that hang until he would hit it and it would swing around the big hard pole. You understand what I'm saying? Let your head hang like your grandfather's balls. Okay. Very good, everyone. Very good. Now, let's go to plank pose. Okay. Make sure you're stuck. This is where you get such good core. Okay. I want your thighs to be tight. Your glutes to be tight. That means you're tushy. Okay. You hold that tight. Your chest is tight right now, too. Okay. I want you to go forward and back on your toes. For that. If you don't want to hurt your wrists, I want you to spread your fingers out wide and make sure your weight is definitely going across all the pads of your fingers, not just on your wrist. Okay, from here, slowly go down. Now, if this is too tough for you, don't worry. Just put your knees down and then slowly go down. I want you to keep your elbows tight to your sides. This is also good for your triceps and biceps, okay? Slowly, slowly. Did I say slow? I meant slow. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, so good. Okay, let's do a cobra here. Just we're still stretching as we're getting into our core. Come on down. And again, breathe in and up. I hope everyone is having a really good Tuesday. Well, it's Tuesday here. It might not be Tuesday there, but whatever day it is for you, whatever time of day, I hope you have a good day. Chewie, what the heck did you steal? It looks like he has a mask and one of his toys. Chewie, come here. Chewie. Hey, okay, you can keep that, not the mask. You take that. Don't mark that. This it would not be good. We need these things. Okay, back down. Okay, let's do a bit of locust pose. So bring your arms back, bring your chest up and your legs up. Now bringing your legs up, if that's too much on your lower back, bring your legs back down. But otherwise, keep your legs so tight, okay? Your hands tight, your quads tight. Toes can be pointed for this. Chest is up. This is really good for the lower back. I wish I could see what you guys were saying. I might have to take another break to go and to look because I want to chat with you too. I hope everyone is having such a good day today. Okay, let's bring these arms forward. Let's do breaststroke. Okay, pull back. Oh, this is so good for the lower back. So good. Hello, Chewie. You work on your algebra too, Chewie. That's what someone requested today on Reddit. Okay. So good. Okay, good. Let's do upward facing dog. So bring your thighs up off of the ground. Okay. Toes, tuck toes under. Back to plank. Now, let's slowly go down. Go back up. Okay. Did I trick you? Okay. Go down. Down, down, down. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Okay, let's do that again. Go down. Remember, you can go to knees. That's not a problem. You're still working your core, your chest, your biceps. So, so good. Okay, so good. Okay, knees again. Tabletop. Are you ready? We're doing a bit of bird dog. So we're going to start with the right leg. First, let me see who's talking. Who's the, oh, that's the name of a movie, very old movie. Who's talking now? Upvote. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh, Gabe excited. That's so nice. I already upvoted. Yeah, God stole my idea. Why? This is why the Soviet Union collapsed. It's all because of Madam Euphrosini. And, and her yoga. Let's get this to the top. Grand puppy balls, you got it. What a time to tune back in. Yes, wonderful. Okay, okay, wonderful. Okay, I will continue. Are you guys ready? Howdy, howdy to 
Twins Rambo. Okay. Here we go. I'm already sweating. Anyone else sweaty? Okay, so bird dog, as I said, hello, Chewy. I think I just smeared my lipstick on my face. Who really needs lipstick while doing yoga anyways? Okay. So, right leg back. Foot, stop kissing me. No, thank you, Chewy. Okay, no, no, the right leg is back. <laughs> and the foot is flexed as if you're trying to, you can't even see my foot, I don't think, if you're on Reddit. But it is flexed, okay? Okay, you stop it, Chewy. I love you, but no, no, I don't need face wash. No, thank you. Okay, okay, you sit, puppy. He is almost a year and a half. Here, sit. Sit, yes, good boy, down. Down, down. But I'm certainly holding this one leg for a long time. Okay, let's bring the left arm up. No, you don't need to chew on my arm, Chewy. Okay, so you can stay like this for a long time. If you don't want to do arm, don't do the arm. But this is something so good for core. He put, placed his bomb in perfect position so I can easily rub his bomb. Okay, he's gone. That's good. Okay, just hold for 10 more seconds. Two and one. Okay, next leg. Left leg up. Come on, you do it too. I can see you're not doing it. Come on, do it with me. Foot is flexed, everyone. Foot is flexed. Okay. Now if you want to use the right arm as well. Hold that up there. Okay, very good. Now feel those abs clenching. When I do this, I somehow, I feel like Jennifer Aniston. She's just so beautiful. Her abs are so tight. So, so for some reason, when I go like this, I feel like Jennifer Aniston. I know I so do not look like Jennifer Aniston, but this will help me to at least feel like her. Or maybe it helps me to feel like Bookie on the rabbit. Okay. Okay, people, 10 more seconds. Two and one. Excellent. Did you do it? I want to know if you did it. Tell me if you did it. There's more to do. We're getting ready to do more. I do got a squat so I can see. Why? You talk like this. I am in character. Madam Euphra see the goddess of joy. Why do you have NPC voice? I have no idea. It's just what comes out of my mouth. Dog needs a meat. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's a good idea. Creepy? Well, sure, why not? Uh, fanine mood. Oh, I'm sweating, all right. Okay, that's great. Just, I'm just sweaty watching this. Okay, well that's good. We can sweat together. Get as much as you could. Way to go, Luke. Okay, let's go back here. We are so not done. Come on. I want you to meet me in downward dog. Meet me in downward dog. Okay. If you still need to walk the dog, walk the dog. You bend those legs. You can swing your hips back and forth just to get all nice and loosey. Loosey goosey. Bend your knees, get your chest close. Okay, you ready to work? Okay. Breathe in, right leg up. Okay. Open up your hips. Let's get a nice hip opener. Good, straight the leg. Okay, bring your right knee to your nose. Bring it back up as you breathe out. Bring the right knee to the right elbow. And bring it back. I feel like we're doing Simon Says. Bring the right knee to the left elbow. Hold it there. Bring it up. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again, just holding it longer. To the nose. Bring it up. To the right elbow. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Okay, to the left elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Okay, bring that leg down. That was so good. Okay.
Okay, next leg, left leg, bring it up. To the nose. Breathe in, left elbow. Breathe in, right elbow. And bring it up. Okay, same thing again, we're holding it longer, people. To the nose. Bring it up. Left elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. And up. Right elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Bring it up. Good work, people. Good work. Let's do a vinyasa. Come forward. You can either go on your knees and go down, or forward, chaturanga, upward facing dog. You can just do cobra with your legs on the ground if you want, or go right to downward facing dog. Okay. Okay, let's do that one more time. Another vinyasa. Okay. Back. To bird dog, okay? This time we'll do it a little faster. Right leg, back, foot is flexed, arm out. And hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, other side. Two, and one. Awesome. Downward facing dog again. Let me just check. Oh, I am getting very sweaty. Okay. Going in that goddess pose to get down here. Reminds me of a dream I once had. I hope it wasn't a scary dream. You remind me of my school's physical training teacher. Same energy minus the accent. Okay. I hope she was a good teacher. I love the character. Very fine. Thank you, Mini Death. That's wonderful. Woof! Try this. I will tell Chewy that you said hi. That's very nice. Actual doggo wants to walk though. Okay, well, hopefully, Mika, I hope we see you again. Also, upload now if you haven't. Thank you so much. That's so good. That is so good, everyone. Okay, let's get back to it. What time is it anyway? What time? 23 more minutes. I don't know if I can do core for 23 more minutes. If you have been watching Bookie, holy crow, he's just amazing. Okay, let's see. What did I forget here? Did I forget to do anything? Let's go into... No, we're going to do the downward dog again that one more time, and then we're going to do some bolt pose, people, okay? So, right leg up, breathe it. Knee to nose, breathe out. And up, left, and up, right, and up. Same thing, holding longer to the nose. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up. Left elbow, people go. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, are you doing it? Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Right elbow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So good. I am so proud of you. I am so proud if you did it. If you did not do it, I still love that you're here watching. So that's okay. Maybe one day you get inspiration. I saw a good message. I look at message before we do other side. Okay, that vinyasa was chaturanga, the dasana. Yes, Bujanga, Bujanga asana, and Parvata asana. In case anyone, oh, so good. We have someone so knowledgeable here. In case anyone, love it, love it, fear. So good. Okay. Love it, love it. Okay. Here we go, left side, breathe in and up. Okay, knee to nose, breathe out. And up, left elbow. And up, right elbow. And up, again, we hold long now, two nose. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up. Left elbow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Are you doing it? 4, 3, 2, 1. I lost. I forgot how to count. And up. Right elbow. We're at 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Up. So good, people. Okay, calm down to child pose for a moment. And then we will switch gears. We're going to do both poses. If you can't hear me, I'm ready at both poses. Let me know if you can hear me really well. Okay, let's stretch out our wrists, okay? So we're going to go opposite on our wrists. Yes, let's stretch those out. Yeah, we put lots of weight. You just have to make sure. You spread your fingers, distribute your weight. Okay, let's go to both poses. You know, another time I can do whole regular yoga class with proper vinyasas and stuff. But here today I just wanted to focus on uh, core. This morning I did resistance training. This was the only thing that was missing. So this is what I wanted to do. Okay, for your both poles. Get on the floor if you're not there. Get your katoshi down onto the ground, okay? So you're going to lean back on your seat bones. Now, you can put your hands under your thighs, bring one leg up, bring the other leg up. You can just stay like this if you want. Chest is up, shoulders are back. Feel those wings squeezing in the back as your core is engaged. So you can stay here, or you can bring your arms out like this. You want to intensify it more? Is that what I heard you say? You can straighten your legs. Oh, I'm falling back. Okay, you can also bring your arms up. Two, lean back. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight, five, four, three, Two, one. I'm shaking. I'm totally shaking. Let's do low bolt, high bolt now, okay? Low bolt, high bolt, low bolt, high bolt. I have no idea why the word bolt is spelled B-O-A-T. You would think that would be bolat. English is very weird. It's not bolat, though. It is bolt. You know, it should be B-O-W-T. That is a pet peeve of mine. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do three more of these people. Okay, so good, everyone. Now, I want to stretch this out. Let's go to bridge pose. Bring your feet close to your, your tushy. Hands down, reach for your feet. Bring your hips up. Snuggle your shoulders under your back. We're also stretching out our hip flexors too. Mine are tight from my workout this morning. Open up that chest. Stretch out those abdominal muscles. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, oh here comes Choi. Hello, Choi. He's not licking me. That was so good. I am so impressed. He normally comes over and washes my face. Sometimes I get a nostril wash. I don't like that at all. That's just so gross. Oh, it feels good. Bring your knees into your chest. Give your knees a kiss. Tell them that you, you love them for all the wonderful work they do, keeping you up all day. They do such a good job. 
So good. And let's do, I think I might be a bit close to the side. I wanted to do a nice twist here. Twist to one side, look at the other side. You can see if your arm gives me the shaving. This is a good way to do it. I don't recommend bringing your razor to your yoga class though. I know I usually like to multitask, but razors in yoga class probably will not go over so well. Now, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one yoga sessions with me, or specifically, I'm going to the other side, or specifically with the joyful yogini, you can book one-on-one -on -one appointments. We do it online if you don't live locally. We can work with anyone around the world. We do yoga, we do coaching. Make sure you follow me, by the way. Follow me and I will send you all my social media links. Lots of fun videos on YouTube. With Madame Euphrostini doing yoga and also Joyful Yogini doing yoga and just funny stuff. Well, at least I find it funny. If you don't find it funny, that's okay. We all have different senses of humor. Now, normally from here on, we can go into happy baby if you want. How's your happy baby? You know what? Make sure your tailbone is flat on the ground. And you can even go and do karate baby. You just take turns bringing your legs. My hammies are usually quite tight. I love to run, but I tore my Achilles a tendon in February. And so I went to yoga because I couldn't even walk my dogs. It was very sad for me, but I learned, I fell in love with yoga. I even got my certification because I just love it so much. And it has helped me to heal. And now I even started to be able to run a little bit. I'm nowhere near as fast as I was. I actually have to go quite slow because my Achilles is so tight and there's scar tissue and stuff like that. But I can run. It really brought me a whole new level of gratitude to be able to run or even just walk my dog. Just to walk around the block without pain. That was so special. It seems so funny, but really, I think lots of things happen in life to, so you can create more gratitude. Or so you can get fire under your ass to do something different in your life to make yourself happier. We create our own happiness. We do. So if you need to change your circumstances, you need to change them. Or sometimes it's about changing your thought patterns because your thoughts can create um, a terrible reality. You can become a crap magnet if you simply just focus on negative thoughts. You, if you're in bad place, you attract more people in bad place. They'll just be so attracted to you. If you're in good place, you will attract more goodness. Not to say, Nothing will hit the fan when you're in a good place. It can still hit the fan, but you'll get over it much easier if you're in a good place and you'll be able to see things clearly. Now, I'm not going to do Shavasana right now. That was just simply core workout. Hello, husband. Um, it was simply core workout just to help you to, well, I wanted to inspire other people to try yoga, to get you know, get a good workout, enjoy core. I'm first going to say goodbye to my people on Facebook. Hello, who is on Facebook? Oh, Nilish, is that you, Nilish? So good to see you. I give you thumbs up. Good to see you. Okay, so to everyone who's on Facebook, I want to say goodbye. Thank you for watching, getting your yoga on with Madame Euphrostini. From my light to yours, everyone, namaste. And make sure that you know I have special on right now for readings. 30 for 30. 30 minutes uh, for $30 for a reading. We'll do it online. It will be fun. You can contact me on Messenger. You have a wonderful day. Love you lots.